morning. I am going to go to an estate sale this morning. I'm waiting out in my car. I usually arrive a couple hours early so that I can be the first group of people in there. And I have my big Ikea bags marking my spot. Uh, everybody's just waiting in their car. There's a couple of people up there talking, but I think probably by the time they open, they'll have probably 50 to 100 people waiting in line. This one has a lot of train stuff. This person was collecting trains for about 30 years, but not only trains, he has this huge wall full of train catalogs, and those could be worth some pretty good money too. So if you have seen my other videos, you know that I love to buy and sell trains. So there are probably thousands of boxes of trains, and I am super excited to go in here, so I will see when I get inside. I found pieces of them. I found bags that people have turned into things. Like blankets that people have turned into. Like never. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
Good problem. Man. No problem. We are treating the little one patient, so it's fine. Stuff. Hope so. Hi, I am back from the sale and it was such a good sale. I went into the garage first because that is where all of the model trains were. I started picking through and trying to find all of the locomotives. Locomotives will typically sell for a higher amount than just the train cars. Um, the train cars a lot of times are just um, made of plastic and the locomotives are usually always die cast and so I could dig around and just feel the box without even having to open it and you could feel the weight of it if it was a die cast. So I ended up getting two huge Ikea bags, those blue Ikea bags mounted over. Um, I bought both of those bags and he only charged me $100 which is really cool because usually at estate sales, especially on the first day, they do not... Um, bargain with the price at all because they're trying to get the most amount of money for their client and he was ready to make a deal on all of the trains so I got all of the trains and I did end up getting all locomotives I got them all for around three dollars a piece I not only got trains I also got the little houses for when people are building their huge tracks and they have the structures all around there. I bought quite a few of those too. So each one of the, of the trains and each one of the structures were around $3 a piece because I did purchase 35 of them and I got them all for $100. So let me show you what I have. I do have a few listed. Usually what I like to do is list my highest priced items first to try to recoup my money back 
as quickly as I can. And so I think I have about five items listed and they already have uh, quite a few watchers on them. So hopefully they'll sell pretty quickly. So let me show you what I got. I've never purchased this brand before. Mantua, Mantua it's called. And from the looks of the box, I would say it's from the 70s or 80s. And I don't think this has ever been taken out of the box. And I have this listed for $150. This is another one, Bachman. I definitely have bought quite a few of this brand. I've never bought this particular one. This one I have listed for $200. And then this Tyco one is listed for $75. And then all of the others are just these Tyco little bit smaller locomotives that has a coal car behind it another locomotive so I did run comps on all of these there are a few that will sell for about $30 all the others will sell probably between 50 and $75 somewhere around there I've sold so many of these before so this one, the comps on this one was $50. Look at it's brand new in package. So many. <laughs> so I'm not going to show you all of them because there are quite a few, but I will show you some of the other things I got, the structures. So here they are. They are called plastic bill. I have sold these before. They're not super valuable, but again, I paid $3 each. On their own, they would sell probably for about $15 each. I will probably lot all four of these up together and because they're all a little different. And I will sell them probably in the lot for about $50. And then these um, are also plastic bill and they're a little bit bigger. And so I will probably lot these in two and sell them for $30 for a lot of two. And then same with these. These will sell for about $25 a piece. These cool Tyco buildings. And I love, oops, it's upside down. Was this one too? Yes, it was. This is a Howard Johnson. If you're old like me, you'll remember the Howard Johnson. I just think it's cool that these are so old and they still have never been taken out of the plastic. And then these uh, model houses are a little bit bigger. Well, they're not actually houses. This one is a log loader and I have two of those. So I will list one and quantity two. So that makes listing a little bit easier. And then I have this one. Oh, so those sell for about 30, $35 each. And then this one, is the US Post Office and this one sells actually between 50 and 60 dollars so this one is a little bit better and then I have these three that are exactly the same and they are operating crane loader set and so again I'll list one with quantity three I also purchased this from the sale I have four of these and they are vintage diskettes I think they're floppy disks I have them listed for $35 each and I, that's what the comps were. So, and they do sell. So by the time I'm done, I have 50 cents a piece into these and I will end up selling them for $140 for four of them. So I paid a hundred dollars, like I said, for all of my train items. And I will be turning that into around $1,300. So that was just such a great find and I can't wait to get them all listed. I did get one more thing from that sale. I will show you inside the house what I got because I have it set up there. I am going to try to um, hook up a monitor to it to see if they're working properly. They're in excellent condition. I um, was lucky to find them. They are Atari computer. I, it looks like just the keyboard and where the discs go inside. And then there is another unit that is a um, for floppy disks. And I do have a couple of floppy disks that I got from the sale just so I can test them. But 
if I sell the computer well, I'll show you when I get inside. Okay, so this is what I picked up. I have all of these Atari catalogs. And I have two of these and I love that they all have their original covers because these were downstairs in his basement where he worked you know with his tools and stuff and so there was sawdust on a lot of stuff but these were all protected so this is an atari 1050 and these just by themselves um i think they were selling between 50 and 80 dollars something like that i have two of them i will probably lock them together with these others that i'm going to show you and i will put in some of these um manuals with it and there's an atari book this little disc came with it so I'll, hopefully i can test it came with all of these cables i grabbed two of these discs from them so i can um, try these out and so i have the atari 1200 xl they both power on they're doing just fine they are in excellent condition i mean really nice so do i still have this plugged in yeah i still have it plugged in so they are powering on and i did see these selling between just for this with the power cord between um 200 and 450 dollars so i'm not sure i'm just gonna say that with this and this and some of these manuals that I'm probably going to get at least $300 for each set. So $600 for all of these, and I only paid $40 for all of this. 